story of how a German indie electro music festival inspired my PhD in solar energy. You see, the picture on the top left was taken at the Melt Festival at a disused coal mine in eastern Germany. The coal pit had been filled with water and turned into a beautiful lake. The machines are now museums, and the whole area is a popular concert and festival venue. So, why don't the Germans need their coal mines anymore? Well, one of the reasons is they're getting more and more of their energy from the sun. And I thought, that's amazing. Why can't we do more of this in Australia? Well, the problem is that solar panels are still a little bit too expensive. And a large part of that price comes from the cost of the raw silicon that goes into making the thick silicon wafers used in standard solar cell technology. The good news is that you don't actually need that much silicon to make a high-performing solar cell. One alternative that takes advantage of this was pioneered right here at UNSW. The idea is to deposit a very thin layer of silicon directly onto a glass sheet, thereby slashing the silicon usage by over 95%. So that's great. The costs are down, but there's still a problem. You see, the cells made on these thin layers just don't perform as well as the standard ones do. It seems the silicon quality just isn't good enough. But why not? What's the difference? I asked myself this and discovered the answer right in front of me at my festival. Melt. You see, the reason that the standard wafers are so good is because they're formed in a large kind of melting pot process where all the atoms can swim around to the right position. The thin layers, on the other hand, remain in the solid form, so the atoms are kind of stuck where they land, leading to a very low quality structure. So how do we fix this? I can't just throw my thin layers in a big melting pot because then the supporting glass will be destroyed. So what can we do? I thought about this and once again discovered the solution right in front of me at my festival. Laser light. By scanning a laser beam across the surface of the silicon, I can melt the silicon without damaging the glass underneath, thereby creating the really good high quality structure that's required. Already, a test is showing that the quality of this silicon is almost as good as the standard wafer technology. With a bit more tinkering, I hope to finally realize the dream of high efficiency, low cost solar cells, enabling clean, green, renewable energy from the sun at an affordable price. Finally then, we can turn our coal mines into great party venues as well. <laughs> Thank you.